There's our panels. So far so good. They have the diode bridges on the back. 330. So as far as I know, these are the largest flexible panels you can get. Um, any larger and they obviously become quite a handful. So they're about uh, 7 feet by about 30 inches. So they're 16 by 6 cells. Cells being roughly about 5 inches. dudes are building solar panels here. They have built these elaborate frames which are very precise and they're about to marry two of them together to see what that looks like. And I think you're marrying them in threes? Yes. Threes, yeah. So two, one more and then we have uh, our first uh, entire panel complete. Our first 990 watts. Panels. So essentially there's eight thousand watt arrays. Yeah. So one, That's nominal, of course. One kilowatt hour of solar. Um, Put one in the middle, maybe. Per per array. So there's going to be nine of them. Is that right? No, seven of them. Eight. Eight of them. Okay. That doesn't. And Ashland's still quite smoky. We've been working in the smoke. Still in the front yard. Um, Brett's got the swamp cooler out, so we're getting a bit more elaborate with our All shop right. space here. So we got our uh, thousand watt arrays together. They're actually 990 watts nominal. So this whole array ends up coming in at about 50 pounds. Um, this would be 120 pounds of normal glass surface aluminum frame panels. And that just would be too heavy, not only um, as far as adding weight to the vehicle and reducing range as a result, but we would have to be putting that weight up, weight up high on the vehicle. And that just is not good for handling. It puts the center of gravity high. and so the flexible panels with our own frame um, design gives us the opportunity to get all of this solar 7200 watts up top for under 400 pounds versus 880 to 1000 with the glass frame situation. Mm -hmm. 